Hi team, this is level one combo defense. So combo one defense. I'm here with Coach Jack. Let's demonstrate fast first of all, and then we'll break it down slow, explaining all the details for you to work on. So we're gonna be in our stance, tap, tap, guard up. We really wanna make this a habit now, getting on your toes, moving around, whether you bounce on your toes, or you're just tapping your feet so you can move quickly, you can defend, you can also attack, you can change the angles really well. So Jack's gonna attack me first, looks like this. And then I attack him. Just like that, okay? So when I attack Jack with the jab, he's gonna do that close guard first. When he does a close guard, he wants to lean forward slightly so that I don't knock him off balance. So close guard, if he's standing upright, I'm gonna end up knocking him back, okay? So he wants to bend his knees, lean forward, that back heel is up on that jab, okay? So again, one, and then he's gonna take this front kick. So a bit of body condition. So just take the front kick. So we could slide back away from it. For this combination, we could still be in range for that cross. So it's gonna work well. Let's say that you've got your hands up, you're not seeing that front kick coming in, you've got not, time to, not got time to slide back. So you're gonna take the front kick, stand your ground, ready to hit them back, but they're throwing that cross straight away, and you're gonna slip. So when you slip, you're gonna lift up that back heel. If Jack did it to me now, so you can see me do it from this angle, so from the jab, I'm going to do the close guard first. See how I keep my elbows in as well? And my gloves are on my forehead. They do not need to be on top of my head because then I'm just leaving my body open and there's no need to block the top of your head. They're going to be punching towards your face or your forehead if they've been a bit kinder and sparring. So go like this. Yeah, you can either have your close guard this way, which is a little bit better for defending the side of your head as well. It might feel a bit stronger for you. Or you can have your hands like this where you've got that clear, clearer vision through the middle. So again, he steps into the jab, close guard, I'm leaning forwards, my shoulders are forwards, I'm protecting myself, and I'm bending my legs, keeping the back heel up. Then I'm gonna take that front kick, I'm gonna tense up, and exhale, and then he throws the cross, I'm gonna slip. I lift up this right heel, and I keep both hands up. Now, rather than leaning backwards into the side like this, you're not going to be able to do anything after, and then Jack could throw a hook maybe afterwards, or a kick, and then I'm going to be wide open. I'm going to keep my hands up on the side of my cheeks, and I'm going to lean forwards as I slip. Now I'm in a great position, I'm loading up to counter back, whether I counter back here, I counter back here, I counter back from here, and then on inside or outside, I'm loading everything up, and if Jack throws a cross, and then he throws a round kick, I'm gonna be defended, I'm gonna be defending myself because I'm in this strong position rather than just being upright and open, okay? So Jack's gonna defend one last time, he's gonna go close guard, take the front kick, and then slip for that cross. Thank you, Jack. That's level one, combo one defense.